Hey guys, so before the video starts, I just wanted to say that if you guys are watching this the day the video is released, I'm going to be live at twitch.tv. I have my link at the top of the description, and I'm going to be streaming for my 500 subscriber giveaway, where I'll be giving away a month of premium to two of my subscribers. So if you guys want to be a part of that giveaway, or just come hang out and do some content in Albion, I'll be live over there again link at the top of the description and if you want to be a part of the giveaway be sure to subscribe and head on over there but with that out of the way uh, enjoy the video hey guys so i wanted to start off today's video showing transport runs now through refining in cities i've made it to just under a million silver i'm at about eight hundred and seventy thousand now and i've spent about half of the silver so far about what four hundred and thirty thousand silver buying all of these hides throughout um, Albion. I've actually gone to Limhurst all the way, from Limhurst all the way to Thetford, and now I'm running these hides back to Martlock. And I just wanted to show this because a lot of people say like they have uh, oxes or whatever, so that, uh, so the mammoth runs that I do all across Albion, it's not really uh, super profitable because they can't hold that much. I wanted to show it's taken me about 20 minutes or so to get this and it's probably going to take me about another eight or so minutes to run them back to Martlock so all in all will be about half an hour in by the time I get to Martlock but I just wanted to show you can do about two of these trips an hour potentially three if you don't go all the way around the map and you can just find a city nearby that has cheaper resources but Bridge Watch didn't really have that cheap of hide, so I had to go to Limhurst, and then I decided I'll just go around the entire map. So I've spent about 20 minutes, it'll be about 30 minutes by the time I get back, and we'll see how much I can turn this 430,000 silver into. Right, so we're back here in Marlock, that just took about 7 minutes, and uh, the only other thing I need is I'm going to need some tier 3 leather, and I'm probably going to end up needing some more... Uh, or tier 2 leather I should say, and then I'm probably going to end up needing some more tier 3 leather because I don't think I have enough hides to uh, create it all, but we'll see. So we got tier 2 leather, and then I'm going to run and I'm going to craft what I can, and then I'll come back and buy more tier 3 leather for the ones that I cannot quite craft. So here we have all of what we had crafted or could craft we have just some tier 4.1 hides and i'm black screened loading in so i'll be right back whenever it puts me into the bank okay sorry about that that's happened a couple times today where it just kind of freezes and i have to wait a while for it to let me into the bank but looks like i have 630 so i need 315 more tier 3 leathers so we'll just buy We'll just buy here so I don't have to add up all the different ones. So I'll just, I'm going to have it, I'm going to craft it all and then worry about selling it. So I'll be right back when I finish crafting the last 600 or so of these 4.1 uh, hides. Okay, so I have all the leathers crafted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first off, I'll sell all the ones that I just have one of here. This, this, there we go. Just a little frozen there. So yeah, I'm going to sell all the ones that I just have one of for now. And then I'm going to list the other leathers on the market just to uh, get them to start selling here. And I'll sell these. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to... I'm going to travel again and I'm going to do one more trip. So after this second trip, it'll be just about an hour. So I'm going to go around the map again. And we're gonna buy. I'm gonna buy more hides. So I think I'll probably just teleport. I'll spend the 10k to save time, and I'll teleport there. And then I'm going to run another trip. So I'm gonna teleport to Limhurst. And I'm gonna run another trip around towards Martlock. It'll take about another half hour to do everything, and then we'll see how much everything is worth there, at, all the way at the end. And we'll see how much I can get from a transport run. Keep in mind that I'm only doing this with a tier 5 transport ox. So for those of you that say it's not as, as profitable to do with like transport oxes or like tier 8 transport oxes, we'll see here and see how much silver I can make at the end of the hour. So I'll be right back with my second load. 
So I'm here, I just started my second trip, I'm running from Limhurst, and I thought I'd just speed up, record the rest of the trip so you guys can see exactly where I'm running. So here it is, I'm going to show you guys the route that I'm taking, and uh, yeah, like I said, it'll take about half an hour to get back to Marlock and finish crafting everything, so this will be in total an hour's worth of transport runs to make silver.
Okay, so I believe I, I think I forgot to record my voice the last trip, but we did the uh, same thing as before. Went, bought the tier two leather, crafted this. So we have everything now. We're gonna head back and sell it. And I just wanted to, you know, remind everybody that this is just with a tier five transport ox. So we'll see, obviously, I, I'm not sure 100% on how much silver we made this hour, but I was able to do two trips on a tier five transport ox. And I, with less than a million silver, all in under one hour. So I'm gonna sell again, I'll sell the items that I only have one of, just insta sell them. So I don't have to worry about accounting for those. And it looks like the other 4.2s we listed sold. So we'll list these. And we got undercut here, but that's fine. We'll just, I'll just list this for a, right underneath. And then we'll list these for 106. And I'm going to go through, I have about 56,000 silver. I'll go through and I'll add up all of this and we'll see how much it's all worth after this hour. So all in all with this hour, just transporting with a tier five transport ox, we're gonna end up once everything sells with about 1,040,000 silver. So if I subtract, let me, got my calcul calculator here. If I subtract the 870,000 I started with, that leaves me with, I, I made about 150,000 silver or what's that, 175,000 silver in that hour just doing transport runs. And that's only with a tier five transport ox and less than a million silver. So if you guys have a tier eight transport ox, I mean, a tier eight transport ox can hold, I believe almost double what this one can. So let's take a look. So it can hold 2250. So yeah, just about double what I can hold here on my uh, tier five, not, not counting getting a tier eight transport bag or a tier eight uh, bag for some extra carrying capacity. So you guys can make hundreds of thousands of silver per hour just transporting just basic enchanted resources. Just find an enchanted resource using the calculator in the description. Find one that you can buy much cheaper on the other side of the map, haul it here and sell, and you can refine or just sell the hide. Don't even worry about refining. And you can make a decent amount of silver per hour, even with a transport ox. That's what I did all the way to a hundred million silver to earn a mammoth. And that's what I recommend you guys do along with refining. Just find what's profitable and do that. But I hope this gives you guys some more ideas on how to start earning silver to try to work your way up to your own premium or potentially a mammoth for you guys that are a little further ahead. And again, if you guys are watching this video the day it came out, I'm currently live on my Twitch. The Twitch link will be at the top of the description. And there I'm going to be playing with you guys. We'll be just doing some content together, potentially go to the red and black zone. And uh, that's when I'll be giving away the two months of premium to two lucky subscribers. So if you want to be a part of that, be sure to subscribe and head on over to the Twitch and yeah, I'll be live there. So with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, learned something, and have a great rest of your day.